Okay, hi. <laughs> it's a better day. Look, my neck is turning. My head is going up and down. My shoulder's better. Um, I'm telling you, maybe the CBD, maybe the drugs I'm taking, maybe the exercises I'm doing, I don't know what's causing this. Starting up, I had to come out and get my hair cut today because it was driving me insane. I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping. I wanna, this is a me day. Uh, Ron's doing a little bit better today. It's the first day of, depends for him. He's not real happy about that. But um, anyway, I wanna go over to uh, Sally's and pick up a few things from me. I wanna stop by the drugstore. I wanna go to the dollar store. We'll see just how long my energy lasts. Um, so, uh, yeah, driving around the parking lot at the, what is this? It's not really a mall anymore. I guess it is a mall. It's like an outdoor mall. This is Westdale and it's got Ross for Less and all that kind of stuff, uh, Burlington Coat Factory. Um, but right across the street over here is Walmart and I think I'm gonna head over there. The dollar store is right next to that. And uh, stop in there. They carry the yogurt that I eat all the time, which is a, a Greek yogurt that it's not full of a bunch of fruit and stuff. Um, they actually have little tiny crumbled almonds on top. And because I'm trying to stay away from a lot of the things that upset my stomach, um, I know that this Greek yogurt with the almonds is probably a good choice. I use uh, like almond milk in my coffee. Um, you know, just changing things up in my diet and trying to get my body to cooperate. So I keep, I keep trying new things all the time. Um, I found the best thing for me so far has been the keto diet, which, you know, stays away from all of those uh, GMO, gluten, uh, yeah, all of that processed stuff. I found some really good chips at Aldi's and they are, you know, they've got flaxseed and all kinds of stuff in it. And so, you know, I, I miss having things like chips. I miss having traffic here good grief I miss having things like chips and um, I need something to do a little bit of dipping with once in a while so all right we're in the other parking lot I'm gonna head over here to uh, the dollar store see what I can find there and maybe I'll be back bye so I'm in the school section I was watching somebody the other day and they were using these uh, for organization. I think it was Lolly Palooza. And they've got them here. I also see pencils and things. I think I might pick up some of those for my granddaughters. Um, lots of pens and pencils. School supplies are out. Uh, color flow. These look interesting. Quick drying, no bleed ink. Yeah, that's worth a try, right? We'll get that. Uh, we've got the scented ones, that's fun. Look at that cartoon one. It's kind of fun, right? Alright, what else do I need? Don't need anything, but looking, right? So I was looking for some of those little snap lid containers, but look what I found. This has to go home with me. You know it has to go home with me. But here's the Oikos Vanilla Almond Greek Yogurt. It's really good. Um, this Clorox, or Comet Classic, works really good, so I get that here. I needed a 9 volt battery for something in those pens. So I did go to Sally's and I got two different products. Each of these uh, will give me what I'm looking for 
for artistic hands and they're easy. So these are the press and place nails. You just peel and stick. It's got like a little glue dot on the back of it. And let me see if I can get one out here and show you. It has a little tiny glue dot. You guys see that? And you just peel that piece off and stick it down to your nail. And you can see this is after I've done a full set on my nails. I have both ends done. And oop, that one has got to get pushed into place. Um, and then I still have all of these left to do another full manicure with. So, you know, I have plenty. If I have one that gets damaged or paint on it or something, I can change it out easily and still have decent looking nails, right? For my videos. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll be back again with more video logs in the future. And thanks for stopping in. Bye for now.